Today we are going to be making an elegant decorative art piece. These techniques are very satisfying and simple at the same time, but the results are beautiful. You can try this at home, so let me show you how to do it. If you would like to own the original of this piece, you can find it on my website, abcreativeofficial.com. Many of you really enjoyed my last video with the moon and the tree, and I thought I'm going to do some different type of landscape with the sun this time. Maybe slightly resembling some old Japanese paintings, but with a modern twist. I think this canvas will be the most suitable for today. It's the lightweight 50 by 20. I was shipping my crane painting recently and it's on the way to the US now and that made me think of a crane because I really liked it. I hang it on my wall and I really enjoyed it but I hope the lovely lady will enjoy it even more. So I thought well let's make another crane. I miss it. A small one this time. While I'm drawing I am considering my options. I would like a 3D crane. I was thinking first glue gun, but there's no way I can make all those tiny bits here with glue gun. Air drying clay or maybe Fimo. Maybe Fimo will be the easiest. I do have some leftover Fimo and I'm going to try if I can somehow recycle it. Well, see, I kept them in a jar, but they are quite hard. I think that I can revive them using a little bit of petroleum jelly. Cocoa butter. Oh, that smells nice. Unbelievable. Look, this is unbelievable. I just touched it. This is perfect. I'm going to form a little pancake and then I will transfer the bird. My silicone mat is a bit dirty, so I am improvising now. And this is baking paper. But that's definitely not enough. I need a bit more here. I've got some other plans for it. Okay, so now that's, that's the way I'm going to transfer. I'm sure you haven't seen anything like that before, because I haven't. Rolling the bird onto Fimo. Are you as curious as me? Ready? <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, this part, I don't think I rolled here. Perfection. Ta-da! Now, my job is to cut out roughly this shape. So I'll be turning it and turning. Because for cutting, turning will be vital here. Look, I'll be just cutting sections like this. Taking time and cutting any way I want. Polymer clay is fantastic for this type of job. I got to the leg and I'm thinking perhaps I'll go all around and then I'll get some more confidence. The rest was super easy. I got to the legs now and I'm actually so happy I'm doing it on baking paper because I'll put it directly in the oven. I don't have to lift it up. Everything is going to be fine. So just checking if the legs are thin enough. I was worried it was going to be too hard, but it's not. It's not. Outside is done, just cutting the inside now. And I should put the oven on. Well, I could have made the bird bigger, you know, I'm just thinking hindsight. <laughs> I could have made it bigger. It would be so easy. Okay, yay. Down the legs. <gasps> Ready for the oven. So it says 20 minutes in 110 degrees. And I don't think I want another bird. The other birds will be out of something else. It's time to think about colors for the background. And what do I have? I have Prussian blue. This is my flow troll. In Europe it's called over troll. It's much thicker than the American one. I am straining it because it likes to be blobby. Roughly one part of paint to two parts of flow troll. And maybe I won't use anything else, just water. Many of you ask about the mixes, but 
It's actually personal preference. I often like adding PVA glue and water, but I can do it without PVA. I can do it with just water. It all depends. I don't want any sales this time, so if they happen, well, so be it. But I'm not aiming at sales. I want some misty background. So I am going to get my paints quite runny, like this one. So this one is definitely too thick at the moment. Therefore, I'm going to add some water. Nothing else but water, pure water. And I'll mix it. When I put these on, you know it's going to be messy. I mean, for my standards, messy, because I'm going to put the canvas higher. I know that I want some grey here. Oh, I think it's darker than I expected. Some white here. I want a little bit of this turquoise. Not too much. Hmm. But I want it lighter. So I'm trying to put some white on top. I am so curious what's going to happen with all this. But I do want all that spread nicely. Oh, that's a nice one. I like this color. I like this color a lot. Okay, I don't want more of the dark one. Will that be enough? Well, if it's not enough, I'll have to mix some more. I do have this, but tons of this dark blue. I seem to use all my white. Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm going to help it a bit, making the edges wet so that the paint can glide easily. And I'll do the same here. Especially because I want all that part very light. Okay, that seems enough. I'm going to use my crazy hairdryer, of course. Disclaimer, please don't use anything that's silly. I made it and I just love it, so it's dangerous. <laughs> because you can cut yourself and it can fall off and it's hot. Okay, low setting. Okay, I'm not liking this section. It's way too dark. I am going to put some lighter blue here. One more grey. It's too much green here. And I do all that section very, very light. Okay, I'm ready again. I want it a bit more messed up here. Oh, I'm liking this now, see? I would also like to give a huge shout out to my amazing patrons who support my channel and help me create those free tutorials for you. You can head over to patreon.com forward slash abcreative where you can join for just two dollars a month and you can get access to extended versions of my tutorials and much more. Okay, I think I should leave it. And no worries, I'm collecting all my paint. This is officially the biggest mess I've made. <laughs> my pouring. Do you want to see how I clean my mess? That's what I do. And it's very quick, very efficient. I'll have some amazing color. It'll be very difficult to mix on its own. I'll show you what color we have. You know what I managed to mix? It's like wet wood. Wedgwood porcelain. <laughs> I don't think if I wanted to get this colour, I'll be able to do it. Look at that beauty. Actually, what time is it? <gasps> okay, 1.49. See you later. I'm going to bed. It's ready. I love the colours. And you see some li little bit of texture here. Time for the crane. I was thinking silver would look fabulous, but once I put silver on, it was very difficult to see it at some angles. I'll have to go with gold. I'm not going to glue it to the canvas yet. I'm going to cover it with gold leaf first, just on its own. The marks on the bird are just from the pencil and I don't worry at all. It's going to be all covered. 
shiny gold. This will look good with blue as well. Usually when I attach my piece to the canvas, I have to be very careful how I apply the, the fluid. This time I am doing it quite generously. I'm not bothered with the background at all. I think I kept the bird longer. I think I missed a couple of spots. So I'll have to reapply to certain areas. <laughs> there it is. I can think where to position this one and to add a few smaller ones in the distance. Look at this crane mass production. This is a soft graphite. I want to be able to press it down onto my canvas and get the imprint. I am doing them individually because I haven't decided on the position. It's going to be much easier shuffling them around if I, if I do them this way. Oh, by the way, I know some of you will be asking, I use regular baking paper. But of course you can use tracing paper, you can use carbon paper, you can find your image online, royalty free, or your own photo. How many do we want? It's going to be plenty. Let me transfer this one. So at least I'll have one and I can change it. So I seem to be pretty indecisive today. You can draw over with a pencil. You can also tape it down so it doesn't move. It's so small that I don't need to do it, but it will help. That's it. I can go over so that you can see better for my purposes and for the gold leaf that's more than enough. It took me a long time to think of the position because, you know, cranes fly in this special formation, flock of cranes. It's actually called sedge as far as I know. I didn't know that they're up to 400 birds sometimes. It's incredible. Let me transfer this one quickly. Now I am going to cover each of the birds with the gilding paste. I'll have to use even a smaller brush to create those feathers. I think these are ready. I'm really curious. And now the moment of truth. Oh, I've got a thin beak. That's good. I was a bit worried about the beak. Managed to get a gap between his legs. That's good. Tied it up some more later. But so far, that's a good bird. This one was so tiny. Ah, look at that. Uncovering the last beauty. The very last thing I need to do is to glue my bird onto the canvas. And this is the glue I'm using, diamond glaze. I'll wait a few minutes for it to become a bit more tacky and then straight onto the canvas. Hold it down. Well, there we are. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you'd like even more content, you can head over to my Patreon where you can support my channel and at the same time get extended versions of my videos and more. Oh, and don't forget that this piece is for sale on my website, avcreativeofficial.com, if you would like to own it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you at the premiere of the new video next week. Bye bye!